So I get this question a lot. I'm gonna answer this particular one though. Um, basically, how significant is ageism in IT? I'm wanting to make it my second career. I've got a good 25 years left before retirement. So this is a good question. A lot of people worry about it, um, but I will say it, it's kind of funny because, well, it's not funny, but um, there's a lot of other isms to worry about, like lookism, nameism, nepotism. Uh, there's ageism, right? There's racism as well. Whole bunch of isms, but ageism, uh, just in general IT, I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it's that big of an issue. I haven't seen it be an issue. And for most of my jobs, most of the people were actually older than me, to be honest. And I'm almost 40 right now. So a, a good chunk of the people are older than me and almost all of my jobs. Um, and in cybersecurity, even it's even less of an issue. For some reason, a lot of cybersecurity people are, are you know, like 40s and like 50s and stuff like that, at least in my experience, because I've worked in like a decent amount of local government jobs. And I've, I worked in private sector as well, like at a bank, just a, a lot of a large chunk of people were, were older than me. The last, um, I wouldn't say the last like actual like full time cybersecurity job I had, most of the security operations team were older than me. They're like in their 50s and 50s and 60s. And there's a, a guy on the network engineering team. I think he is like 70 years old or something like this. So ageism is it's not really a thing. Um, it, it exists, right? But it's not um, it's not that bad compared to, to other things. And if you're worried about it, um, which I'm I'm always worried about those things, right? I made this employability framework, which is what you should care about when trying to. Um, break into the field or make yourself highly employable. So for example, like everything basically boils down to getting an interview and passing in an interview. So if you want to avoid ageism for the get interview part, part, I would avoid like putting dates on your degrees if you have any and like really like dating yourself on your resume. I wouldn't do that at all. Um, sometimes I'll put the date that I graduated, but I don't even think that I do that anymore. So don't date yourself on your resume. And if you're worried about ageism when you get to the interview, just work on your self-presentation and just be the absolute best version of yourself that you can because um, halo effect is a thing, right? The better you look in general, the better people are going to pre perceive you in terms of like your competence and all of that stuff. So um, just be healthy. Like I'm almost 40, right? But I don't, I, you wouldn't, probably you wouldn't think that I'm almost 40. I'll be 40 in like, what, six months, unfortunately, exactly six months. So just be healthy, be in shape, uh, clean yourself up. Um, if you're a woman, I don't have good advice for that because like, I don't know, but for a guy like, you know, groom your hair, you know, shave your face, be in shape as much as you can, like wear clothes that fit. Just, you know, overall practice speaking so you don't say weird stuff or you don't use a bunch of filler words or something like this. Just work on your self-presentation and your interview skill and you're definitely going to be okay, especially for general IT and cybersecurity. I will say like probably, I don't know, but my intuition is for big tech, there's probably more like ageism, especially in like those software engineering roles, because it's it's kind of difficult. It's a bit mentally taxing. And I know for companies like Amazon and stuff, they tend to like, okay, they tend to kind of ab abuse their workers, right? And as somebody who gets older, you're less likely to let people do that to you. So there's likely, I believe there's likely to be more ageism in big tech, specifically in software engineering, but for like general IT, especially cybersecurity and especially for normal like private sector jobs and especially for government jobs watch this video for like gov tech and security clearance jobs it's not going to be a big deal so i don't think you have to worry about it i hope this helps